Hello everyone, the Crystal Penguin here, and welcome to episode 26 of Pokemon Gold. In the last episode, we beat Price, the gym leader. Now we came back here to Goldenrod City to see what's up with the radio tower. And, uh, it's, they're already playing rocket music. I don't like that. Uh, it's scary. Uh, the king, yeah, if you see I have a Pidgeotto, because I wanted to catch one. So I could fly back here to Goldenrod City. Turns out I don't even have the frickin' Fly HM. So I couldn't even fly back here if I wanted to. So I wasted time to catch a Pidgeotto. And then all, and then I just came back here and I was like, or, and then I found out I didn't have Fly. So I was like, Oh, and the king has a bit more of experience. And he's just about to level up. One more level the king has. There needs to until evolving. Okay, until he learns the move and his last move, and then he'll evolve him. Yep. Oh, it, oh, maybe it's forty something. I think it's forty something then. I think it's exactly forty. I thought it was thirty-eight, but I think it's forty. Now that I remember, well, now that it's clearly not thirty-eight. Uh, I still have a bit to go, but it's okay. We'll get there soon enough. Okay, Grandma's defeated. Too strong, we must watch you. Again, heart gold, soul silver. Um, instead of, you have to go to like a basement area. No, I wanted to switch. Uh, and you have to, um, dress up as a rocket grunt. It's kind of cool, but it, it, you don't get to wear it all that much. It's like two seconds later, you get your disguise ripped off, which is just kind of annoying. Ha <laughs> ha how boring. It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. Well, I mean, you're the one who's going to have to beg to keep me amused, because I'm going to kick your ass so hard you look like Jesse clone thing. Didn't Jesse have an Arbok in the anime? I don't, I don't know, I never, I never watched the first two seasons of the Pokemon anime. I got into it during the Hoenn and Sinnoh parts, and then I haven't watched it since Sinnoh. Like, I didn't watch any of the Gen 5 anime, and I heard it was pretty trash. I heard, um, Gen 6 was good, but I don't know, I just... Gen 6 Pokemon games, I don't really like Gen 6 Pokemon that much. Like, the Pokemon designs themselves are pretty cool, but the games are just, eh. They're, they're, they're bad. I find the Gen, Gen 6 Pokemon games are, are pretty bad. Not as bad as Gen 1 or 2, but still pretty bad. Yes, I'm less playing a game that I keep, keep calling it bad, but honestly, it's a pretty good game, and I, I, well, it's a good game. I still have fun with it, and that's all that matters. I still think it's Gen 1 and 2 are the worst Pokemon generations ever. I know fanboys rage at me with your hateful, mean-spirited comments and how I wasn't around to play them, so I can't judge them bullshit, which doesn't make any goddamn sense. If it's a good game, it's going to be a good game whether you played it when you were a kid or you're playing it when you're an adult. Like, oh, and, like it doesn't make a difference if you play it and you have nostalgia glasses or you play it and you don't like if it's a good game it's gonna stand up for whether you have nostalgia glasses on or not if it's a bad game it'll stand up if you have nostalgia glasses on and it won't if you don't so I never got that argument it's complete bullshit and don't like it's just a bad argument that fanboys use uh, to prove that their thing is better even though it's not I just I just don't, I don't get that argument, but whatever. Let's just headbutt the Rattata. Yeah, he's dead. I like killing rats. Rats, killing rats is fun. Especially because this guy's six fucking Rattatas. Like, what the fuck is up with this? Why would you have six freaking Rattatas? What the hell is wrong with you? Yay, I'm gonna level up soon. You think you're a hero, and you think you're an evil villain? You're pathetic. Everyone in this place is pathetic. So yesterday is the day Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out. I, um, 
I didn't get it because I don't Oh, honestly, I don't have the money to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now. But a friend got it. He brought it over. We played it on my Switch, with, and he brought over his controllers, and like four of us were playing it. Oh my God, Renegade Roundup is really fun. Like honestly, before Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like I'm gonna have to spend more time with it, obviously. But before that, it, I found the most fun. Mario Kart 8 Battle Mode is uh, Bomb on Battle and Mario Kart 8 Double Dash. I think that was the most fun thing ever. But now that I play playing Renegade Roundup, oh boy, that is so much fun. Like, it's so much fun to the point that I, I could play it by myself. I haven't played a Mario Kart Battle Mode by myself, like, ever. Like, mm, that's not really by yourself, but I play Mario Kart Wii a lot of Battle Mode online. I, don't, I just love Battle Mode and Mario Kart Wii. Just all of Mario Kart Wii, basically, I loved so, so much. I was, like, all over Mario Kart Wii back in the days. The days of the Wii. I, I wasn't any pro at it, and I never unlocked all of the characters. Never, the character I never got was me Outfit B. It just, uh, it was, you have to get, like, perfect on all the time trials or whatever I I never did that so but and we also played um balloon battle and bob on battle I for bob on battle it was okay it wasn't anything special bob on battle like double dash I don't know there's something about the bombs that just you didn't throw them as far or like the map was a lot bigger or something, it just... It, it, I don't know, there's something about the new Bomb Battle that was nowhere near as good as... The... No, just fuck it, I don't want to see your status, I don't give a fuck about you. Uh... Not moves, I meant... I said move. God. No, fuck off, stop hitting the wrong goddamn button over and over and over again. Just... God. Uh, but, I don't know, it just, Bomb Battle just doesn't feel the same in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, also there's not any unlockable characters, which is why I loved Wii so much, is because of the unlockable characters, like, I restarted Wii a couple of times just to unlock all the characters over again, because I found that more fun than, well, I found that a lot of fun, but, and I found racing fun, but I, I just found everything about Wii really fun. Yay, I killed the Zibit. And he's got us another Zubit. And I'm gonna kill the Zubit. With my Biba Beam. God, just looking back at my Wii games. I wonder if the first Wii game that I own I ever beat. I'm gonna say a Super Paper Mario was the first Wii game I ever beat. Galaxy, I had a problem with Galaxy because my Wii disc was scratched a bit, so I could play through all of Galaxy perfectly fine, except for I couldn't freaking play the final boss. The final boss would not work, it'd be like, the game cannot be read. It's like, everything worked, except for the final level and the final boss, which, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I don't understand why, how that would happen. I don't know if there's someone out there who can explain that to me, I don't know, but it's just... I don't get it. I just don't. Aw, oh, Tentacool didn't evolve. Grammar... He's... Wait, I said Tentacool Cruel didn't evolve, but he's already evolved. I don't know what I am saying anymore. No more, no more, no... No me, no say, no more. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. First game I know I beat for the Wii U was New Super Mario Bros. U. <laughs> like, for the Wii, though, it was different for me because I was a lot younger. Like, the Wii U came out when I was, like, going into high school. No, I was in high school when the Wii U came out. When the Wii came out, I was, like, still in elementary school, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Because 60. Yeah, it was definitely in elementary school when the Wii came out. My god, I have so many good memories 
with my older sister, with my um, Wii, my Wii U, my Super Nintendo, my NES. Yes, I own an NES, and as a kid I played NES. N not good. That <laughs> was never good at NES. The only games I really played that I had were, uh, um, Duck Hunt and the Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, and I had this, like, Stanley game or something like that. I, I loved the first two levels, but I could never get past them. <laughs> like, the second level. And then for the SNES, all I had was the Super Mario Brothers All-Star Collection, F-Zero, and... I think it was like Harley's Humongous Adventure, which I loved. I loved all those games, honestly. Even though Harley's Humongous Adventure, I couldn't get past like the fourth level. It was still really fun. I still had a lot of fun with it. Which I think that's all that matters. Even if you can't beat a game, as long as you have fun and as long as you play like it, play it and feel like you're having fun and feel like you got your money's worth, I think that's all that really matters. I don't know, child wandering here. Who are you? I am... My name is Straw Hat Luffy, and I'm gonna be King of the Pirates! No, I'm not Straw Hat Luffy. That would be... I'm not even wearing a straw hat, so how can I call myself Straw Hat Luffy? Uh... I just had a little stretch sitting in this chair. It's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't mention my GameCube, man. My GameCube, I also have lots of good memories. With such games like Mario Party 4 and 7, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, <laughs> and Luigi's Mansion. But that's pretty much like the games ev and everyone owns for the game too, basically. Like, I also own... Mario Sunshine, but I never really got into Mario Sunshine. I don't know if it was the flood or the controls or it was pretty hard. I don't know what it was, but I just could not get into Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know why. That's just me. And the Magnemite's gonna die. Level 38, Tentacruel, sweet. Damn, he's so good. Trying to learn Barrier. Fuck no, you ain't. Yes, barrier is not. Uh, uh, it just raises my off my physical attack. Tech, I took you too lightly. I'm in physical defense. I don't think Tentacool needs better physical defense, to be honest. That's what Belly near the front of the party. The Team Rocket has locked himself in, but the director can open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please save him. Is he? Is he on the fifth floor? I don't know. We'll find out. You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible because I'm going to beat you. <laughs> you think you can beat me? Oh, you naive rocket grunt. With your little level 22 Zubat. Like, really? You honestly think you can beat me? With only a level 22 Zubat. Like, my not very effective m move on you did over half your health. You honestly think you can stand up to me? Really? I don't think you have a, chan a snowball's chance in hell, buddy. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. You're just gonna die. Okay, he's got a bit better Pokemon goal bit. We'll just we'll just wrap him. Let's make a nice good old yummy ham and cheese wrap for him. No vegetables though, because vegetables you don't put vegetables on anything. Vegetables are gross, man. Except for carrots. And and unless they're cooked. Ugh, carrot cooked carrots is the worst thing ever. But then, then celery's good, and cooked celery in um, a stuffing, that's really good. Onion. Cooked onion is really good, and onion on stuff is really good, man. I love onions so much. Some types of lettuce I like, others I don't. Pickles. Pickles are vegetable, right? I think they are, because cucumbers are vegetable, and pickles are just pickled cucumbers. So I, I'd, I'd say that they're, they're vegetables. 
pizza. Now there's a good vegetable. That's my favorite vegetable, pizza. Oh, and ketchup. Ketchup's a great vegetable. 10 out of 10 vegetable. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just going on about how much vegetables are gross. Just like how Bellsprout doesn't learn a good frickin' move. For a long ass time, maybe Bell. I was confused. Bellsprout and Nito ran. Maybe Bellsprout's the one that learns a move at 38, and it's uh, Razor Leaf. No, no. I think it's. I think it's 44. Bellsprout or er, Weeping Bell learns Razor Leaf. And why does he not learn any poison moves? Like Acid. Like why not Sludge? Why not? Why not? Uh, other poison moves. You know, why does Nidoran not learn Acid or Sludge or Sludge Bomb or any poison moves? Like, really? All I'm asking is for some decent moves here. It's I'm not like I'm asking for a lot here. Like, honestly, just give me some goddamn moves that work. Huh, you were defeated. No, unbelievable. Actually, it's quite believable. But, I think that's going to for today's video of Pokemon Gold. In the next episode, we'll continue through the radio tower. See you guys then, bye!